Welcome. Today I'm going to finish up the videos I've been doing on our self, my self yorick stripping cell. Um, this is, you can see here, the jewelry that we stripped in it and tested it. This is about half gold plated, about half gold filled, a little bit of HDE. See almost all the gold's going. You see a lot of copper, a lot of base metal, a lot of brass. So the gold that came off of here, we're going to uh, recover out of the cell. If you enjoy this video, my other videos, hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button would be truly appreciated. And of course, any thoughts, suggestions, comments are always welcome in the comment section. So the gold we're going to cover, the bulk of it is in this sludge in our cell. We're going to get from there, from our rinse water, and then from our bin that we use to store our basket for cleaning. So the cell is comprised of the gold sludge and concentrated sulfuric acid. So we're going to dilute that by carefully pouring the acid into about 10 times the amount of cold water. And then we're going to go ahead and rinse all of the gold sludge also in there. Give it a good stir and then we're going to let that settle while we work on the other two containers. So for our rinse water, we're going to siphon off the liquid. The sludge is really fine. If we try to decant, we'll end up just mixing it up again. So we're just going to get the two separated. I would do the same with the water in our storage bucket for our basket. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine these two into one beaker. So for the filtering process, I'm going to go ahead and just use gravity filtration. I'm going to try not to pull particles through at the vacuum, so I can hopefully get the filter done in one pass through uh, with clear liquid into the flask and all of our sediment in the filter paper. I'm going to start by filtering the rinse solutions. Then I'm going to filter the diluted cell contents. As usual, filtering is the longest part of this process most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on time lapse and zip through it. So everything's filtered. We ended up with three pretty full filter papers. Um, I wish there would be as much gold left at the end as there is in those the sediment in those papers, but there won't be. Um, that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and add some hydrochloric acid, put this up on the heat, and get it covered and lined up. We're going to put our nitric in, and we're going to go and dissolve our sediment in there. Um, probably some gold, probably some base metals. I'm going to eat up the filters themselves so that we can filter those out into our clear chloric acid once it's done. So we're going to add in probably about 8 or 10 milliliters of hydrochloric or nitric acid here to start with. And then we're going to let the aqua regia do its thing. So our solution's been cooking for about 30 minutes. Going to do a quick stannous chloride test, see if we have golden solution. Uh, we do, so that's good. Nice dark stain. And cover it up. There's still some solids in there. We're going to add a little bit more nitric. Let this cook for just a little bit longer. So 
so pulling it off the heat I think we're done cooking here pretty well for our aqua regia we're gonna go ahead and add cool this down we're gonna add some ice both going to cool down our solution as well as precipitate any silver chloride that might have come across from the carrot gold on our gold filled jewelry. As we stir this here, we can see that layer of silver chloride forming. Um, we'll definitely need to be getting that filtered out. We finished the first filtration. You can see we have all that silver chloride, a little bit of plastic looking stuff in our filter. I'm gonna set that aside and uh, empty the beaker or the flask here into the beaker. You can see there's quite a bit of cloudiness in there still. So we're gonna run it through that same filter again. All that other junk in the filter is gonna clog it up some. Hopefully we'll get a nice clear solution as that uh, helps it go. That said, I fully expect this to be a very slow filtration. So as we go here, I'm probably going to put it on super time-lapse mode. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but I doubt it. Filtration is complete. Go ahead and unhook the pump here. Take a look in our filter itself. Still has that silver chloride, all that stuff we would expect to be in there. But the important thing is here, looking at our solution, um, it was 90 plus minutes well spent because that solution is crystal clear. We'll be ready now to move to precipitating and recovering our gold powder from this first recovery step. I'm going to use SMB to precipitate the gold out of solution. Do a stannous chloride test to make sure we have all of our gold precipitated. And we see some color on there, but it's not the purple we expect for gold, it's brown. It means I probably put too much um, SMB in there. Not an issue, it rinses out really easily when we do our wash. We can see our powder starting to settle on the bottom. So we're just gonna set this back up here, cover it up and let it settle. So it's the next morning, our gold settled overnight. You can see it nicely on the bottom. The solution on top is pretty clear. We're gonna cant that off. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this all to a smaller beaker, just easier to work with in our washes. So we can get that powder out of there. It's going to like a reasonably decent amount. So 
as a first step, I'm going to go ahead and do a hydrochloric acid boil so you can't get our gold to come together and behave better through the rest of the wash process. So go ahead and pull this down off the heat and boil for a while. Let it cool down a little bit, decant it off, and then we'll begin our washes with boiling water. After a couple of boiling water washes, I'm going to go ahead and do another hydrochloric boil, see what we can pull out of here, and then we'll wash again with boiling water before we proceed to a second refine. So our second hydrochloric boil, you can see that the uh, acid we're pouring off is pretty much clear this time. I didn't really pull any noticeable color out. We'll do our boiling water washes and then we will go ahead and re-refine this gold. So for our re-refine, I'm going to go ahead and add our hydrochloric acid in, put this on the heat, cover it, this time gold powder itself dissolves really easily, so we're only gonna put about four or five milliliters of nitric acid in. We don't wanna overshoot. So all of our gold is dissolved. We've gone ahead and filtered it, diluted it a little bit. See, we've got a nice clear chlorauric acid. Gonna grab some of our stump out, SMB. Gonna Go ahead and precipitate our gold. You can see how much faster and nicer that looked than the first one. Get there. Do a quick stannous chloride test. That looks negative. I'll go ahead and put a little more in just for good measure, but I believe we have all of our gold out of solution. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. I'm gonna put it on low heat. Heat drives off any of the excess SO2 gas. will help it settle a lot faster, both by driving that gas off, but also by getting the little particles to clump together, get settled down so that we can move on to washing and drying and weighing, what, weighing the gold and get into our results. So it's been about 30 minutes on low heat. You can see our gold is settled to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and decant off the liquid and we're gonna wash this up. I'm gonna start with the hydrochloric boil followed by some boiling water washes. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it up on the low heat to dry before we weigh. is looking really good, nice light color. I'll go ahead and finish up the washing and get it dried.
Right, here's our gold powder that we recovered from the cell. Nice, good looking cinnamon color. We're gonna go ahead and add that to our gold powder stash. See what we did. Couple of little stubborn pieces there. Get them out there. There we go, get them in. So it looks like we are at 7.4 grams. That's pretty good, more or less exactly what I was expecting. So we did 275 grams of gold filled material, which I was expecting six and a half to seven grams of gold from. And then I had 450 grams of gold plated and heavy gold electroplate, which I honestly expected nothing from. So I learned a lot using the stripping cell. Um, I thought it did a great job recovering gold from gold filled material. Looking forward to using it again. Thank you for watching. This concludes this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comments are always welcome. Thank you.